Habit 1. Meditation. I thought that meditation was something for tree-hugging hippies. Something that took years of deep meditation to actually feel the benefits of. How wrong I was. Mindfulness meditation can make you more aware of your emotions and increase your focus. Something that we as modern humans have completely lost. I'll link Hamza's 10-minute uh, meditation video in the description below so you can give it a try for yourself. I imagine that there's nobody around you that meditates and if you told your video game addicted friends that you meditated, they'd probably laugh at you and tell you to hop on OG Fortnite. <laughs> if you start meditating, you've already put yourself ahead of them and every other mindless young man. Habit 2. Reading. When was the last time you read a book? It was probably in school when you were forced to and you had to study Shakespeare or whatever. How's your revision going? Yeah, not bad. Pretty good. Got an excellent schedule sorted, colour-coded and balancing my time well. Got some drinks here to help, Pro Plus, that sort of thing. Right. And nothing's fucking going in. Now you have complete freedom of choice, just like how you chose to click on this video. You can look into the thoughts of successful people, learn from them, learn from their mistakes and understand how to become successful yourself. If you are one of these people that you read one sentence and then immediately lose focus and forget what you just read, Please refer to the previous habit of meditation to fix that. But it's just so valuable, the books that you read. I have only recently just started my self-improvement reading journey. My quest for knowledge, you could say. So I don't have many recommendations for you. But I can recommend the first in self-improvement book I read, How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. This book, it's crazy how it's 90 years old and is arguably even more relevant today than when it was first published because along with being mindless the young men of today are socially inept and don't know how to make meaningful relationships if you read this book it will kickstart your journey for knowledge and you'll learn how to be a better human being in general finally habit three exercise years of sitting in a greasy gaming chair and eating disgusting junk food have taken its toll you likely have a skinny fat physique, which is just goddamn ugly, and you know it. That's why you're here. You know exercise is good for you. I could sit here and tell you 50 plus reasons why exercise is beneficial. I could have made the whole video about that, but you know it. You've been told it time time again. But the problem is the people that tell you, oh, exercise is good, you need to exercise, are the same people who would rather sit scrolling on their phone for five hours than go on a lovely 10 minute walk. And that's the thing, you don't even need a gym membership or, you know, tons of equipment to start. I think it wouldn't make sense to, like, pay for a gym membership. Like, that's what people are going to start doing for their New Year's Revolution. Oh, New Year, you me, new me. I'm going to oh, go to the gym every week, every day. Like, you're going from living in a completely crap, unhealthy lifestyle to just dropping you in the middle of the gym. That's terrifying. And you're going to get eaten alive, basically. So, start with the 10 minute walk. That's the most simple thing. It's going to make you feel better and you can assess how you feel. If you don't enjoy it, then click off this video. Just get lost. This isn't for you. So, the 10 minute walk is going to do you wonders. 10 to 20 minutes every day, you can do that. It's doing the easy crap that can make your future self love you. So, those were the three habits. I wish you best of luck on your journey, my bro. Take care. Godspeed. Thank you for watching. Mwah!